What is up, players? It's Warboss Tip in this mud. Today I'm going to teach you how to paint every single Vostroyan infantry known to man. These are the uh, ones that you get for the Vostroyan infantry squad. They're not like specialized guys like with the plasma gun or with the s sniper rifles or it's not command squad guys. There's only one guy from the command squad and that's him with the grenade launcher. I decided to include him in the tutorial in case uh, you or any of you out there order bits order him um, because he's got a flipping grenade launcher and it looks awesome. So um, I'm painting him up with the rest of the guys but the rest of these models, all seven of these models are ones that you will find in any of a Stroyan infantry squad which is why I'm using them. Flamer guy. Awesome! Okay so here are the paints that I used. Uh, starting with the red for the coats, we used Mephiston Red. Then we used Bugman's Glow for the face, and a little bit later you're going to need Abaddon Black for the eyes uh, for any of the unhelmeted guys. We used Dryad Bark for the big poofy hats, Mornfang Brown for the boots, uh, Rackarth Flesh we used for any of the ivory uh, knife sheaths like this bugger there. And uh, Steel Legion Drab for the guns, the Laz guns, which look so amazingly awesome because they're so old and antique. And we used Doom Bull Brown for the handles of any of these knives. Okay, so that, I believe that is it, right? Oh, for the mustaches, if um, you want to do some, some mustache work. We used Abaddon Black for black mustaches, Celestra Gray for the white, and Zandri Dust for <laughs> the guy that's probably going to be my favorite in this whole group. Here we go, Hulk Hoganovich. Oh yeah, brother. He is a real Vostroyan. I am a real Vostroyan. Alright, <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Good night. What is up, players? It is War Boss Tay, and hey, it's been a while since we did one of these, huh? It's a War Boss Tay painting tutorial. I am here. I've got my, uh, I've got eight, eight Vostroyans here that are waiting for some paint, and so we are going to paint them up. They are the last eight in the infantry that need paint, uh, that need base coats for my uh, July painting challenge 2013. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna finish them. I'm going to take you front to back and show you how I paint my Vostroyan firstborn. So um, I'm going to walk you through these figures and show you what um, what we're going to need to get them done. So here we've got a Vostroyan without a gas mask and a mustache. We'll call him Uncle Vanya running because he's running. And here we've got Uncle Vanya standing, looking awesome. Do we have any more Uncle Vanyas? We've got here Uncle Vanya aiming. Pew 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 pew! And I think we have only one more open, open, uh, open-faced guy. This guy has no mustache, so we'll call him Young Vanya. For some reason, I just love the name Vanya. The Russian name Vanya is so cool. You've got a guy with a gas mask holding a grenade launcher. That comes in the command sprue, or the command set. You've got a guy in a gas mask running forward. You've got a guy in a gas mask running forward with a bayonet. And you've got a guy in a gas mask holding the flamer. I think if you get the, the infantry squad boxed set, this is the one you get in it. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to walk you through each step. I'm going to use uh, Uncle Vanya standing as the, as the primary um, model. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do one layer of paint, and then I'm going to do it to everybody, and then I'm going to show you if there's anything different that you would do, what you would do instead. So that you can get through, because these are the eight main sculpts, well seven really if you don't count the grenade launcher guy, these are the, the sculpts that you are going to get every single time. Unlike Cadians or Catechins or um, other multi-part plastic kits, there is no 
altering, there's no converting, there's no kit bashing without making a whole new model that you can do with these Vestroyans. So on the one hand, it's pretty awesome because it means that you will always get the same uh, effect if you have a consistent paint job. On the other hand, for those of you who like a little bit more creativity, it's not going to be as fun. But um, here we go, let's get into it. So the first paint you're going to need is Mephiston Red. What I love, uh, one of the things that I love about the Vestroyans is their fluff. How they are kind of like a factory world. Oh yeah, and before you even put on any paint at all, the first thing you want to do is prime your models. So I use, uh, for these guys, somebody always asks me, I use Duplicolor Sandable Primer in gray. So there's that. Uh, some people use Krylon, um, some people use Games Workshop. The reason why I use gray, I tell people, is because uh, it's not as garish as white and it's not as dark as black. So I find that with white, um, a lot of the uh, base colors tend to get washed out. I feel like they don't, I'm, I'm not able to see them because everything is so white, so everything pops so much. And with black, I find that I'm not able to see all the details as well. Now, if you are taking part in the July Painting Challenge, then you should not be watching this video because there must be so many other videos out there and this video is gonna take, this series is gonna take quite, quite a while. Um, just because there's, man, there's so many people who are posting videos. The Painting Challenge is a month-long painting challenge where you try to get as much work done on some models that you've been neglecting as you can and um, you just post a video a day this is for the people who don't know what it's about and holy moly it is uh, there are a lot of people taking part in this one which is great I love it um, it just means that because I love to sit through all the videos and write my video responses to each and every one of them I found uh, it's a little bit of a uh, it, it, well, it's a definitely a very time-consuming thing, which is okay. It just means that if, you, if you're posting your video responses, then don't expect to see your video response actually up for a couple of days. I think it's like day 19 right now as I'm filming this, and I'm still on day 14 of everybody's. Okay, so, so I'm just gonna walk you through what I did. I just did sleeves and the great coat, or the, uh, the coat that he's wearing. And for all of these, you want to get under the shoulder pads, like here's Vanya uh, running, yeah, under the shoulder pads and in the front, because it's very easy to kind of miss where, where the paint needs to go. So under the shoulder pads, uh, some of it will look like straps for for the elbow armor, sorry about that. Straps for the elbow armor, but just don't even worry about that. Just get under, under the shoulder pad, just like that. All the way to the back. And then you'll find that where the coat splits, there's a little bit of like an under, under like shirt underneath. So I will just leave that right now. We'll come back to it, but I wanna paint the two flaps on either side of it, like that, on both sides. Okay, and if you can, paint the inside of those flaps red. I love how they explain in the book that the reason they wear red on Vestroya is not because they are a total ripoff of the Russian Cossacks, but um, because of Vostroya's strong ties to the Adeptus Mechanicus, whose main color is red. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take you through all these guys, show you where all the tricky spots are, and then I'm gonna cut the video so I can paint, actually paint them up. Uh, this guy has no tricky spots to speak of, so he'll be standard. This guy as well. Another thing you wanna make sure you do is clean up all the flash. Um, some of these guys have, some of these guys have uh, cuffs instead of gauntlets. So when you're painting, you just want to make sure you get, when you're painting the red of the jacket, you want to make sure you get under, under the cuff, like so, okay? 
Uh, this guy should be the same. You just want to remember, again, paint the red under the shoulder armor, under that joint. It's really easy to miss. And this guy, Vanya Aiming, is a very easy one to paint because the sleeve is so uh, is so bare. He's not. He doesn't have an elbow guard. A lot of these guys have elbow guards, and um, those that have elbow guards is a little bit trickier to, to get inside of because the elbow guard is pretty big and beefy. So that's why we're painting the red of the sleeve underneath first. Because here on this side of Vanya aiming, you can see that there is not much room between the bottom of the elbow guard here and the cuff because he's got his arm bent at that angle, you see. So you want to get that red uh, in there now. And the reason we're painting the red first is because if we were to paint the elbow guard and the metals, metallics, or even the strap that's holding the, the, the elbow guard uh, onto, the, onto the jacket, then we would have to come back in with the red and we would probably get the red paint over everything else. So a uh, basic rule of thumb is usually you wanna paint from the inside out. So in this case, the inside layer is the sleeve. Um, this guy looks the same as everybody else. I love how big and beefy these flamer, flamer guys are. They, they just look so beefy with this, with their Baroque gas masks. That's a word you'll probably hear me using a lot, Baroque. Because you know what they say, if something's not Baroque. All right, I'm gonna cut off now, do the rest of the reds and come back. Okay, we are back and all of the reds are done. They're looking great. So here's young Uncle Vanya, young Vanya. The, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to paint the skin of the faces. I found that when you're slogging through these models, um, it's good to reward yourself with um, the a, a little of you know a step that's going to be that's going to um, kind of motivate you to keep going. And if I went straight to the metallics, it would be a soul draining slog for me. So I'm going to pull out the four models that have faces. We've got uh, Vanya standing and posing, Vanya running. Oops, sorry. Uh, Vanya shooting and young Vanya. And um, I'm, I'll also take suggestions for, na for other names if you guys are sick of Uncle Vanya. I think just this, it's a funny name. We're gonna take Bugman's Glow now. And we are going to thin it down <clears throat> with a little bit of water on our wet palette. And the trick with this is you don't wanna stab the paint onto the model. What I found works best, especially with these base paints, because they're kind of tricky. They're a little thick, so even after you're done thinning them and using them on your wet palette, you want to just kind of slowly drag it across the model. And don't worry if you get it in the eyes and in, um, you know, in the, uh, like, where the eye sockets are, we're gonna be painting the eyes. You you do wanna try and keep it away from like the the fuzzy hats though, if you can. So there's one. I'll do two, three, and four, and uh, I'll, I'll do two here aiming. So this one where there's no gun in front of the face, it's really easy to get all the angles, but you'll find that when you're working with this guy or young Vanya, uh, it's very easy to get the paint like on the armor, on the helmet, on his mustache, on the rifle, and that's fine because we're doing, we're building from from the inside out, like I said earlier. Okay, so I'm gonna do that with these other two figures now. We'll come right back. Okay, we're back and our guys are looking good. So the next step is we are going to paint the hats. And the hats, we are going to use this color called, if I can find it, Igor, yes master. Fetch me my hat color, please. All right, here's you. Dryad Bark. This is uh, just about the modern equivalent of the old uh, Scorched Brown. 
Now there's another color that is quite similar to it, uh, but it's got a little bit more of a reddish tinge to it. This is a very dark brown um, that is more on the like on the creamy scale. So if, if you were to highlight this, you would go up using something like uh, Rackarth Flesh. You would add Rackarth Flesh to the mix and that would be um, the way you would highlight this brown color. But with Rhinox Hide, which is the other equivalent, it's got a little bit more of a reddish tinge to it. So with that, you would highlight up with a more, um, a hat that has more of a reddish color, or <laughs> a color, uh, a paint that has more of a reddish color onto the hat. That's what I'm saying. So now, I, I just did a gas mask one. The easy thing is that you don't have to worry about the gas mask getting in the way. Just paint it all over the place because the gas mask has not been painted. When you get to these guys with the skin showing, you want to be a little bit more careful with the way your paint kind of distributes itself over the surface. So the way you can kind of remedy this is use a bigger brush for all of the uh, like the, the big fat areas where there's no skin nearby and then go in with a smaller brush. That's probably the easiest, that's what I would do. Or what you could do is just make sure you have a lot of good brush control with your larger brush and then paint up the whole thing just a little bit slower than you normally would. A lot of these hats also, like here, Vanya Aiming, have the Imperial Aquila, or Aquila, as I learned there it's pronounced in Assassin's Creed 3. The Aquila, uh, we're gonna paint over for now. Don't worry about getting paint on it because we're gonna come back and do that in gold in just a little while. All right, so <clears throat> that's how you do it. Also here on young Vanya, who's aiming his gun, he's got, he's the only one with this like arrow thing coming down the front and pointing at him. Like the arrow is saying, it's me, I'm right here. Shoot me. Maybe uh, maybe he dishonored his squad or himself or his family, and so now he has to wear like a helmet that it's hard to camouflage itself because it's gonna have a big gold arrow pointing at his face for uh, the bad guys to shoot at. But you know what? That's fine. That is that is okay. Young Vanya, I have faith that he will get through it. So I think that's the only thing you have to worry about. Uh, you you're you're gonna have details and stuff insignia. Aquilas on your helmet. Uh, here's the other way to do it, like I said. Take your big fat brush and when you have uh, faces, start with the top. Paint over the top and down the back. And when you get to the sides, clean off that brush because you're going to put that brush down for a little while. When you get to the sides in the front, you're going to go in with a smaller brush, like a detail brush or Maybe not a fine detail brush, but just something where you're gonna have a little bit more control. And then the trick with painting the hats is that you need a smaller brush. I think it's, it's almost m more definitely worth your time to take the smaller brush because what you're gonna need to do is get into the sides of the helmet where you probably made some mistake with the skin and got some flesh paint on the sides of the helmet. So just take your paint brush and very, Gently get in there. It's a very easy step to overlook, especially if you're doing a lot of infantry um, and a lot of Astroians, but you'll notice in the final product, taking that extra time is gonna go a long way. Now, what you wanna do is be careful that in your efforts to get as close to the skin as possible, you do not paint this brown paint on the skin. So, uh, it's a step that I would go back and fix if I were not doing like 68 of these guys. But say I were to go in with this brush and maybe some of the hairs were splitting so I got some paint onto his cheek or onto his uh, onto his uh, forehead or something. I would go back and clean that baby up. Another process that you could do if you have all these guys with the faces is start with a little bit of this brown paint on your brush before you even do the big brush and paint the front and the sides first instead of starting with the top and then going in. I've, I've found this is also a, a very acceptable way to go. Oh, the finer points of painting big bushy helmets. See the things you guys learned in my tutorials? 
now that you have, I guess, the picture frame of where the brown paint can go, you can take your brown paint, start at the top, just like before, and without fear, paint around it and not have to worry about uh, getting too close to the face because you already blocked it off. It's kind of like taking masking tape when you're doing camouflage on a tank. Then I've got <clears throat> a couple more gas mask guys. And we're just gonna, like I said, sloppy Susie. Just paint it all the way around. I remember when these guys first came out. Uh, actually, I don't remember when they first came out. I wasn't in the hobby, but I remember when I saw the White Dwarf on when they first came out. And um, I just remember looking at them and when I got back into the hobby at the time, Imperial Guard was just about to come out and be released. So they had this White Dwarf issue where uh, this guy Commissar Von Black or something kind of goes through his rise and fall as an Imperial Guard Commissar. And I think the last battle was against Tyranids and featured an Imperial Guard army only made up of Vostroyans, which I think at the time was still pretty, uh, pretty rare uncommon or rare but not unheard of so I remember looking at these models and thinking why would you spend so much money and time with an army that you have no option to customize unless you really go in with a hacksaw and hack these bodies apart and redo them I was like there's no you know, if you've got Cadians or Catachins, you can mix and match and kit bash. I was a huge fan of the kit bash back then, and uh, still am. But I was just like, I, f I don't get it. I don't get what all the appeal is with these Vastroyans. And now that I'm more of a collector, I feel like, ugh, I love them so much. All right, we're gonna let that brown dry. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to hit the pouches um, and the belts. The boots, no, 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 I'm sorry, the boots. We're gonna wait wait on the pouches. But both, all of the leather, we're gonna use uh, Morn Fang Brown. The label's kind of wiping off there, but Morn Fang Brown is this. If you're using the old colors, Bestial Brown is the is the color, and just look, look at that. Ugh. We're gonna hit the boots. We are not gonna hit the pouches yet because the pouches, some of the back pouches go over the breastplate. Um, oh yeah, you can also use a bigger brush for this. I was going in with my detail brush and I was like, oh wait, there's, there's nothing really you have to worry about. The bottom of the coats, luckily, are mostly gonna be hemmed with a trim of gold. So you don't have to be too careful, but you don't wanna be slapping this paint on like a, like a crazy person. Are you trying to say the crazy people can't paint, Warbosh? Uh, no. No, I'm, that's not what I'm saying. Cause I heard that some of the craziest people make the best painters. Igor. Yes, master. I can't decide if you are like an Igor monster or if you... Like sometimes you talk and I hear, I hear Michael Caine. You sh you do cocaine, master. What? You just said, my cocaine. No! Oh, Igor. I would've do drugs if I was you, master. I hear it's not good for the painting. See, now you're talking like Igor from like a, like a weird British science fiction show. But I don't know what I'm supposed to sound like, Master. Sometimes I just don't know how I'm supposed to talk. It's like you're never satisfied. All you do is sit around all day, watch movies, watch romantic comedies with the lady boss, and neglect me and Lewis, and all of your other friends like Carmish Bain. Speaking of which, no one's even seen him in the last couple of weeks. Do you know where he is? Uh, Commissar Bane said he was going on an Imperial Crusade to uh, rid the world of heretics and foul Xenos. Oh. 
Is it Tuesday already? It's what he does every Tuesday. I know. He's so predictable. All right, so there's only a couple of variations in these boots I wanna show you. There are these ones where the legs are far apart, so you can really get in there, but you have to get all the angles. And there's these ones where the boots are close together. Now, if you look at the artwork in Only War, which uh, I use as a huge inspiration for my Vostroyans, their, their boots are like dark, dark gray, black. And um, that's the only thing that I think I'm doing differently than in Only War. But for these, where they're running, Uncle Vanya's running and kind of slowly tipping over because he had too much vodka, I found that uh, you can just get in some, get, get that paint in right in there and uh, just make sure you hit all the angles. You don't want to miss anything. All right, I got four more guys to do and then we'll come right back. All right, we're down to our last guy. I forgot to mention that a lot of these models have either steel plates on the front of the boots right above the toe or they have steel tipped like a steel toe, hobnailed steel toes kind of thing. So um, just paint over them for now. We're gonna paint them silver eventually. And you're gonna see that there are some Aquilas and some skull pendants and clasps, very ornate, even the boots, these Vostroyans. So we're just gonna paint over those for now, okay? Then we're gonna let it be. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint, uh, we're trying to get all of the non, <clears throat> um, silver and non gold things out of the way. So on all of these weapons, you're gonna have a wood kind of stock, wood looking stock. Oh, <laughs> Snoopy. Do, 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 do. So when you're painting that, you wanna do Steel Legion Drab. Now, with this, you're gonna need to go in with a fine tipped brush because there are three parts of the rifle I found on these that you have to paint. Here, the butt. Hi, you said butt. Hello, Lewis. Hi, Warbush. How come you're not out at the clubs? Well, I thought I'd stay at home. See what you losers were up to. <laughs> Then there's the uh, part over here where it meets the metal. So on some models, this part is a little bit easier to get to than others. Uh, let's see if we can find one. And just about all of them, they're, they're a little bit hard to get to, but. Here, Uncle Vanya aiming, you can see where it's supposed to be. Wood right there. And then this is gonna be silver. And uh, some of them on the other side, like on the back side, you can see it a little bit better. And then the main part of the las guns, I start like painting the bottom first. I do the bottom and then I do the front. Up. Here. And then the back side. Back side is usually, if you start at the bottom, that's kind of where all of the excess paint has ended up. Then the part where you're going to need the fine detail part of your brush or the tip of the brush is here, right under the uh, scope looking section. Between the scope and the metal housing. So that is how you paint all your last guns. Now, if you are doing the flamer guy that comes with the squad, then again, you can see where the, uh, I guess the, what would you call it? The, the, the metal part of the butt is. So you just paint around that part. It's okay if you paint it because we're gonna go over it in, in gold. Then you find all the parts that you think would be the wood parts and you just paint those like sure okay Ta -da. 
and we'll just quickly show you the grenade launcher. There's like so many egos festooned on this grenade launcher. It's like not even, not even funny. So the only wooden parts are the uh, down here, the stock. So there and there, right by the trigger housing. All right, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go and paint them, and uh, we'll we'll do a little wrap up because it looks like this video is getting long. It's a little bit longer because I'm going through uh, eight different guys, and then um, we'll wrap up this part one. Part two is gonna be all about the silver and the metallics. Okay, last thing to get to today is, um, or I wanted to show you first before we get to that. This is uh, Uncle Vanya aiming, and on the back side of it, you can see where the uh, wood kind of ends up here, right underneath the scope there. Oops, sorry everybody. Right there. Okay, so uh, not like you really need to know, except for when you're painting those figures, but it's good to keep that in mind. Okay, and not only that, but I wanted to show you uh, something else, or two other things that you want to do before you uh, close up shop on Part one, you want to take some Doom Bull Brown and paint all of the little knife blade um, little handles here. You've got some on your bayonets. You're just gonna paint it like that. So, you've got uh, Uncle Vanya, young Uncle Vanya, all the all of the guys that have bayonets on their rifles. And then what you want to do is you want to take. Make sure I got all of them. Yeah, you want to take rack eye flesh, and we're gonna make, we're gonna paint the um, sheets for all of these knives and bayonets. We're gonna paint them in this nice bone color. So that once it's shaded, it's going to look like ivory. It's going to be painting right here on the backs. Like that. Okay, and if you've got a holster for this knife, then you're probably also going to have, uh, again, if, even if it's not on a bayonet, for any of the knives here, like this one, you're going to be painting the handle with Doombull Brown. Just want to get there, get in there. Nice and even, nice and even. And double check all of the... Sometimes you've, like, uh, for... This guy without the mustache, he's got a holster, but it, the, the knife is over here on the front. He's using it as a bayonet, so it'll be empty. All right, so those are all you really have to do for step one, or for video one. I'm gonna refocus the camera, and you should have the reds, the uh, wood of the last gun, the boots, and the um, straps, or the, the handle of the bayonet, as well as the ivory, all done, and the skin as well. You know what, what's one more thing we can do is I'll show you a bunch of different uh, mustache styles and techniques. The first, to get a really good base coat for blonde is Zandri Dust. So I'll take my mustache figures now and we'll give them each a different colored mustache. Diversity. Diversity is always good. So we're going to take Xandri Dust for the first one. We're going to paint, give you a little blonde mustache. Yeah, very good. Okay, the second guy. I'm going to give a black mustache. So, so easy. Abdon Black, of course.
YMCA. It's like a village people. The guy. All right, and the last guy here, uh, Uncle Vanya aiming, we're gonna give him a gray mustache. So, he's an older gentleman. He's been passed up for promotion because he can't hit the broad side of a barn. He's always aiming, but he never, never hits anything. So we're using Celestra Gray for his mustachio. And you'll find that if you uh, make some mistakes, if it's on the metal parts of the last gun, it's okay. Um, but if you get any of it on his face, then you just go back over it with some Bugman's Glow. The uh, very last thing, I swear it's the very last thing that we're going to do uh, for step one, is we're going to take Abaddon Black and we're going to black out these gentlemen's eyes. So, this is where you really want to... Make sure your brush has a good, straight, sharp tip. You're gonna get the paint all only on the on the tip of your brush. So, kind of make sure that you wipe off any excess. And then, when you're ready, take a look here at Uncle Vanya aiming. You go at it from a horizontal and just really lightly brush it off the side of the tip rather than stabbing. Stabbing the paint on I found when doing work like this is never very effective. Show you again here for the guy with the bionic eye. You wanna always find your angle too because of these hats. Um, it's a tricky thing to find the angle but you wanna make sure that the uh, model is not obstructing your brush bristles. So this is the hardest one. Village people guy is the hardest one because uh, the eyes are so small, so beady. We're just kind of giving a shade into the recesses. We're not going to do as much eye work as with the rest. Got one more, Hulk Hogan, the blonde mustache. Hulk Hoganovich. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name, brother? Ah, oh, poor Hulk Hoganovich. I um ran out of ran out of memory card space just as I was getting to his eyes. But yeah, basically just um, paint the slits horizontally with some black. Then I smudged some on his cheek, so I had to go back over with Bugman's Glow, but it looks pretty good. So there you go. Um, taking a look at all of the guys here together. They are all ready for their metallics. Now the metallics are gonna be the hardest part to slog through because there is a lot of silver, silver and gold on these boys, but uh, stick with me. Part two is coming up and um, it's gonna be really great. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying and we'll see you in the next one. Latest players.